In this video, we're going to take the Handtech uh, 2D72 here. So it's an oscilloscope, but it's also a multimeter, which we're going to use in this video, and a, a function generator. So in any case, we're going to measure resistance, part of the uh, multimeter. And measuring resistance, you want to remove power. And you want to take the resistance and isolate it. So we just have uh, resistors scattered. But we're also going to look at the resistance of the connectors on the board, because that's been influencing some of my recent videos. So now for the uh, multimeter uh, readings, we got uh, probes here, and the other end of those probes are the uh, plugs, which you plug in, and COM, the black wire, that's our reference uh, voltage, uh, basically, um, if you're measuring voltage, but in any case, black goes to COM, straightforward. And then we have the omega symbol, that's where the red uh, probe goes, also for voltage capacitance or diode testing. So now I just got this tool, you need to uh, charge it before it'll turn on. It wouldn't turn on in the last video where I measured voltage till I plugged it in. So it's uh, just the USB-C right there, like uh, a lot of phones use these days. And then we just have to hit the power button and it uh, turns on pretty straightforward. And now we'll zoom in. And now I got the uh, light set up and everything so we can see a little better. The uh, screen, now that we are on battery, dims after a while. And I think you can just hit uh, any any button. Let's try uh, DM. So right now it's showing scope, which is what it did when I first turned it on. And uh, there you can see I hit the button. It stayed scope. All it did was stop the uh, energy saving uh, of the background light. So there we go. We hit uh, DMM. And now we have... It uh, set to measure voltage. Again, this has a memory, so when you turn it off, it should store what you last did. Uh, but when I first uh, powered this up, it uh, went to DC voltage here. So in this video, we're going to do the uh, resistance. So you can see uh, ohm there. So we got, I think it's function 2. This is how you adjust the menu. Uh, we can switch to those. Or we have uh, other options if we do the uh, function 4 there. But this one, we're just going to do our resistance. And interestingly enough, you can hear something click inside. Right there. And uh, now you can see uh, those plugs again. It shows the omega symbol there. So it helps guide you into where to put the plugs. So this is an auto-ranging uh, meter. We don't have to set it to uh, different resistances. It will automatically adjust. We just have to pay attention to uh, this symbol here. So mega ohms is millions of ohms. And now we're gonna measure resistance. So the uh, backlight went dim again. I saw somebody else who was able, uh, it's like 30 seconds I think before it goes dim. And I think they got it to like 90 seconds or something, 120 seconds uh, before it dimmed. But we're not gonna look at that in this video. We're gonna keep it simple. So there we go. We have the back uh, light back up. And polarity doesn't matter. We just go to uh, both ends of the resistor there. So this is a five ohm. Uh, resistor. The reason why it's large is because it's rated for 5 watts. So there you can see we got 5.3 ohms. You can see the omega symbol there. And this is I believe 270 ohm uh, resistor right there. The backlight went down but I think you should be able to uh, see it. And uh, there we go. It looks like 265. So these are rated to be 1% uh, higher or lower than uh, their stated value. Uh, but uh, they're also cheap, so they may be off a bit. I think this is 75k, so 75,000, and it should say uh, kilo ohm on there. There we go, it's uh, really close. And then this is a uh, million ohms, and uh, it's making trying to make sure the uh, backlight doesn't go down again. And there you can see uh, two mega ohms. So you don't have to measure resistors. Uh, they usually have them uh, labeled their value. So that says 2K, but they crossed it out. You can see M, uh, 2M. So that's uh, 2 million ohms. Uh, they made a mistake on that one. And then 75K uh, right there. Uh, so all I got to do is uh, put the resistors back in the same packaging. And if I'm not sure which one goes to which, I look at the color code of the ones that are already in there. So now we have a, uh, as I said before, I got uh, some resistance where uh, the connections are made. So they're actually separated there. We have to measure the resistance uh, separately. Also, uh, the wiggling around and everything, because uh, that's a very low resistance, it makes it very hard to uh, read. So we can actually pull this off. So if you're measuring higher voltages, which don't do based on my videos, you want to definitely leave uh, those on. But uh, these come off. This one's sticking a little bit, so I'm not going to film that. 
All right, so the reason I took that off, I uh, have this alligator uh, clip that I crimped to a uh, breadboard jumper. And that way, I can just get a solid connection to the probe like that. And then I can place the uh, jumper there into the breadboard. So we're first going to measure the uh, red right there. So we'll connect positive supply there later on, and uh, we'll come to the red rail. We kind of want to get an idea how much uh, resistance we're running to along the way. So this is a uh, breadboard uh, it's just called a header, I think, right there, and uh, uh, header pins, male to male. And there you can see it looks like we're dealing with maybe half an ohm, maybe, uh, yeah, it looks like probably at least half an ohm plus a little bit of extra resistance due to uh, those connections there. And uh, that's just one side, though. And uh, now we're going to go to uh, the black over there. And uh, so we're going to measure resistance from the uh, header pins there uh, through and uh, all the other uh, connectors and stuff. But you can see those connectors, they uh, they don't add a lot of resistance. So low power circuits don't uh, really notice them. Looks like we got uh, more resistance in, uh, in this case. But in uh, any case, uh, that's probably the connectors and stuff. Let's try moving that to maybe a better spot. Uh, but in any case, you can use uh, techniques like this to, uh, yeah, we definitely don't have that much resistance to uh, try to hunt down uh, problems. And uh, we're not doing that great. Uh, but uh, there you can see, we do have some resistance where there's uh, connections, which is something to take in consideration. Usually just kind of uh, estimate how much it is by the voltage you're losing from the current going uh, through it. Uh, but you can also try to take multimeter measurements. Sometimes they work better than others. So we got the uh, back light lit. Let's get back to uh, voltage. I'm gonna try to keep this set the way that it was when I got it and then uh, we'll go to scope right there that's how it was when I turned it on the first time and now we will uh, just hit the power button to a uh, power off also if you have a reading that you like you can save it with that I forgot to show that there we go we turned the power off so in any case that's it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video